There's only one freestanding bookstore owned by an African American in Cincinnati. Smith and Hannon recently relocated from the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center to a place on Vine Street in Over the Rhine. The bookstore's owner, Joyce Smith, is with Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Kelly. Thanks so much, Joyce. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Well, thank you for having me. So, start with the store itself. Why did you open the store originally? Okay, in 2003, I had been retired for two years. I was a little bored, <laughs> and so I've always loved reading. So I started investigating uh, opening a bookstore. I knew nothing about it, but I uh, found interesting facts. And so there was a small uh, storefront in Bond Hill, and uh, my husband and I bought the store, and we set up a bookstore. It lasted um, in Bond Hill for 13 years. Wow. And then I moved to the Freedom Center which was a wonderful experience. And from the Freedom Center, I opened a storefront in Over the Rhine. So why, why make the move from Bond Hill to the Freedom Center and now to Over the Rhine? Why well, is it important for you to be there? My, 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 uh, <laughs> my first inclination was I, I needed a larger store, so I wrote to the, the uh, President Dr. Newsom mm -hmm. to see if I could put some books in in the in the gift shop. Well, I didn't know I was going to end up with uh, the whole ball of wax, and that's how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, later on, uh, my time ran out at the Freedom Center, and so I moved to Over the Rhine, and. Uh, it's it's a wonderful experience because the people are walking all the time. Yeah. It's a diverse community. It's a walking community. What street are you on? I'm at 1405 Vine Street. So you're right on Vine. And it's been a couple months now that you've been open. You One know, month, you. exactly. So how's it going there? It's going. People are coming in and saying, oh, it's a wonderful bookstore. We're happy you're here. And I've made some connections with some of the store owners there so it's been wonderful yeah that's a great community of retailers there right. and and you bring something new and different yes that's, that's not there what do you offer in the store if people are to wander okay. in what are they gonna find initially when I opened the store in Bond Hill it was an African-American genre mm -hmm. uh, I have since branched out to other uh, genres and other authors but I still still maintain the African-American experience in books. Love literature, uh, they're great writers, and so I just finished Michelle Obama's uh, oh, book. I'm reading well, it now. Are you? Mm -hmm. yeah. How'd you enjoy it? Oh, I'm loving it, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Just wish I had more time to read. <laughs> <laughs> it's a heavy book. And so I'm planning for the future to have storytelling, um, different uh, spoken word. I, I, in two weeks we're going to have a reading. So I'm planning to have different activities. And of course I love art, so I have sculptures, mm -hmm. I, have, uh, I have African dresses, and all kinds of things. So. Okay. Well, it sounds like a great place to visit. I encourage everyone to get out to Over the Rhine, right on Vine Street, 14th and Vine. And, um, and also, you said you opened the store originally with your husband, and Joyce and her husband are celebrating 55 years of marriage this year. Yes. She just told me that, so congratulations Thank to you. you. Thank you. Best of luck with the store. If you haven't seen it yet, get down there. Thanks Thank for being you. here, Joyce. Thank you so much.